Hey guys, Elizabeth here with Dandy Soap, DandelionSoap.com, and we're going to make us a Christmas teddy bear using a Dollar Tree hand towel. You will need some ribbon of your choice, at least three rubber bands. If you have the hair elastics from Dollar Tree, you can use those. You'll need at least two. Remove all the tags and so forth from your Dollar Tree towel and lay it out in front of you to where it's spread it out. Taking the bottom, bring it to the center of the towel. You're going to roll that towel. And you can make it smooth it out and roll it to the center. The other side, the same way. Take and roll it. About a half inch fold if you want to say, be specific. Everybody's is going to be unique based on how they roll their towel and how they fold it. And you can do about any color. I've seen them blue, burgundy, brown. And Dollar Tree has different ones. You might want to also inspect your hand towel to make sure there's no picked places. Okay, now that you've got this rolled in half, make sure it's good and rolled. This is the main part we want to make sure it doesn't come unwrapped. Now, holding it firm, catch it right here, up about halfway of those legs, and twist this, making sure that your legs stay down here at the bottom. So when you do twist it around, at least one twist, and just the middle, and that will keep these from unrolling. So that's your legs. Now take this half and fold it down here. And you want, when you turn it about, you're going to see the legs. You want to see that. And you got this halfway spot. <clears throat> okay, now holding about midways. You want to kind of tuck it in to make the head and then kind of roll this out at the same time. So tuck it in, like push the back in, and then roll this out. Child, it showed up to an event and you had not purchased a gift. You could real quickly grab one of these or have them made already in case because I always make extra gifts. There's always someone who shows up I didn't expect or originally said they weren't coming and then ended up being able to attend. And I'm always prepared with at least a couple of extra gifts just in case. I just hate for somebody to leave empty-handed with no gift after watching everyone else enjoy the celebration. Okay, so you got this shaped up right here in the is going to be where you're going to place a rubber band. That's to form his head. And just hold to it really, really tight. And don't let go until you get that rubber band there. Just more or less, you can use this rubber band for placement. You can go back and use string, but the rubber band sure makes it speedy when you don't have that third hand. Make sure you tuck him that head. See how I'm pushing my fingers in? tucking his head and these are the ears so that's where you take the elastic band or rubber band and tie that or place that around that to form his ears and you can make these tighter I'm just trying to demonstrate I'll make mine look better once I have my extra hands Tuck this in, roll that out. Tuck this in, roll that out. And you just keep working it. And then take the other elastic to make his other ear. The elastics are really good and snug, so they make good ears. Okay, and you can... You're just pushing and rolling, pushing and rolling until you get it like that. Okay, now we have his head, his ears, his legs. Now to make Teddy's arms, 
you kind of roll this, but keep that rubber band tight for his head. And just tuck it right there, just like that. Now we'll take our ribbon and tie it around Teddy's neck. <clears throat> and there you have your Christmas teddy bear or little girl, whichever you want to do. And you could add eyes if you wanted to. Dress it up and just really fancy it just for looks. Okay, so to make sure that her arms stay out like that, or his arms, uh, once you bring this over, pull your rubber band up, even if you have to use a pencil or something smooth, and just kind of catch that arm in there. And then same thing on this side. <clears throat> then take your, okay, I had to abandon this buffalo check because when I would tie it, it would not square up right, and it's just too wide. So something a little more narrow, I have my Believe with my snowflake ribbon. And then you'll just put some ribbon around Teddy's neck. And since it's such a narrow spot, you'll have to use a narrow ribbon. Small objects. And this ribbon should stay pretty snug. You can really yank down on it too. Just make sure your tails are even. And you can do one. I do one going that way. And then one going the opposite way. Angles look better on little teddy bears and small objects. You can make it a little bit smaller if you wanted to. Now, there she is, our teddy bear. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, I certainly hope you do. And please share us on Pinterest and Twitter and all of your social media. Join us on Facebook. And until the next DIY, you guys have a crafty, crafty day.